this is a great Tuesday tip, I think, as well, that we were talking about, is how we use language in the volunteer sector. And I've done a couple other other blogs and even a couple of years ago, some Tuesday tips, but I always want to hear how are you now as a fairly successful, recognized writer in the field, what is the importance of using language and the storytelling that we do as leaders of volunteers? I think a lot of it comes down to just trying to put yourself in, in somebody else's shoes and, and expand how some, something that I personally might not notice or, or think about other people can take really to heart and you have to be really cognizant of how other people think. And it, it's, it's a hard thing to do. Um, and there's simple words that we use all the time. Words like use. What do you use your volunteers for? Use. There's two There's use and yeah. use and your. Oh. I mean, because your oh. is a possessive. Yeah. Right? Your people. So, like we don't own anybody. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. But is it? I actually looked it up in the Shorter Oxford Dictionary. About, I, I love that. The Shorter Oxford Dictionary. There are two books about this big Just each. a little short, this yeah, little short just, dictionary. <laughs> um, and your is, let me, I wrote it, I actually wrote it down, which belongs or pertains to you. So belongs, and then I thought, okay, well, pertains. I looked at pertains is to have reference or relation to. Mm -hmm. So you can talk about your dad or or my son. Mm -hmm. We're not talking ownership. We're talking a relationship. Pertains to. Yeah, to. that's definitely the gentler thing. But I still feel but like how do you know? Possessive. Yeah. Yeah. The how do you know how people are thinking? I've heard in, in business a lot of times you hear somebody saying, well, I don't want anyone to steal our employees. Mm -hmm. right? or, or, and, and poaching my volunteers. And we, I've exactly. had a lot of conversations about that before of like, it's not yours to own or be territorial about like sharing is caring and let people do what they're going to do. <laughs> exactly. And exactly. And if you start saying someone can poach my, my volunteers, you're saying they belong to you mm -hmm. and that we don't own people. I'm sorry. No. We just don't. We don't. And, and then the whole idea of the word use, we use things, we yeah. engage people, we can use people's skills Mm -hmm. uh, but it's it, and a lot of this came down to just having people point it out to me. I mean, mm -hmm. language is is a living thing. It it changes constantly. Words that were perfectly common and 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 accepted even five, ten, fifteen years ago, nobody would ever think of using now. Language is a, is a um, an aspect of our culture. And as our culture changes, the language we use needs to change with it. So Absolutely. we just, you have to be really cognizant of, of how it works, of how people might react to it. And what do you think, not just your or the idea of possession and use as in like, you know, squeeze down into nothing. <laughs> some of the subs, what are some of the other ways to phrase that, that that you are starting to have in practice, because I, I definitely catch myself evolving my language and the moment someone corrects me or says, hmm, that doesn't feel so good to phrase it that way anymore, I, I immediately change, change my habits. What are some other ways to frame our language around our teams of volunteers and paid employees? Right. A lot of it, again, just be aware of how flexible English is. So we could say, how do you use your volunteers? And you could turn that completely around and say exactly the same thing by saying, what do you have your, what do you have volunteers do? Mm. Right. What do you, you have just, volunteers do? So much better. Right. It, and, it, and it's so simple and it, and it works. You just have to be aware of it. And I think that's 90% of it is being aware of it. Because once you're aware, like you said, once someone corrects you, you can fix it. And I think it's up yeah. to us as leaders in the field, as writers in the field, we need to 
to point that out to people so people do become aware of it because nobody wants to 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 do things like that it, it's unintentional 90 percent of the time so it's up to us to point it out so people can improve i love it living progressing language those are excellent tuesday tips thank you karen mm-hmm.